Hi guys, today's video is in response to some question we're getting about daytime MOTs and how to prepare your bike for them and all, all, all that is required. Uh, so today we're going to go through that. Uh, let me turn around the camera and show you the bike. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure the bike's obviously in good shape. Uh, you need a horn. I just got this battery one off the internet, eBay or Amazon type thing. Uh, not very loud, but should do. Uh, next, you need a speedometer. Mine's is actually in charging at the moment. But I'll show you a picture of that. It is, uh, not sure how you pronounce it, but it's spelled XOSS. -S. It's a basic unit, no need to wire it up to anything, it's rechargeable, doesn't need calibrated, just turn it on and go. So that's handy. Um, actually, there's no lights or reflectors needed at all. Some people say you need a reflector, but you don't. Some do like regulation 4, section 3A, some act in 1989. I'll put uh, a link below. To show it to you but you don't need any lights or reflectors because you're only supposed to be out during daytime and good visibility it also goes to say that if you do have any lights and you don't want them tested cover them up with a sticker and do away with the wire on the switches because then they can't be tested because they're not readily usable it's not as if you're disconnecting the plug going to test and then hooking it back up again um your tires that's more depends on the person testing the bike. Uh, some people will look for a little E mark. This one has a little E mark. I'll get a little screenshot of it, you'll not see it there, but it says E4 there. Um, even though the front tire is the exact same brand of tire, it does not have an E mark. But to be honest with you, you, only, you don't need it to say an E mark. Just make sure it doesn't say not for highway use. Because if it says uh, not for highway use, then that's no good. Uh, same for your exhaust. Your exhaust doesn't have to be marked, it just as long as it doesn't say not for highway use. That's the main thing, that's coming from my own MOT testers. Uh, if your bike's not pretty much new like mine, just make sure of course that the usual things like there's no excess play in the chain, spokes are all tight, brakes are in good shape, no play in your swing arm bearings or your wheel bearings, no leaks or nothing hanging off, just the usual but that's pretty much it. There's not really much else for it. No leaks in the fork seals, obviously. Um, but there's not much else to it. Uh, for ride height as well, there is no more uh, testing for ride height. It doesn't matter anymore because you've probably seen little mini bikes and all size of bikes in the road. There's no longer a seat height regulation because that was a real pain. Um, so that's just, just the main ones are horn, speedo. And make sure the bike's in good good enough shape, that's pretty much it. But the tires, I say, um, depends more on your MOT tester, so that's up to them. If you can't afford to get e marked ones, then it'll be all the better, but there should be no real need. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, that helps you out. That, that's all I've done for my bike to get an MOT. Another thing is, if your bike is under four years old, it shouldn't need MOT. When I applied for mine, I just it was given their invoice, it was bought on May 2020. And it was registered on the 1st of November 2020, so it's still under 4 years old, so it doesn't need an MOT. So that's handy, so it doesn't need an MOT for 4 years now. But just in case yours does, that's all you have to do. So hopefully that helps you out, and thanks for watching.